Hello buddies, it's Miss March here. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about two supposed dupes and we're going to see if they're actually dupes, if what are the similarities and what are the differences between the two of them. So the uh, two products we're going to talk about are the Drunk Alphand Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Um, this is a moisturizer that I have been actually using for quite a long time um, and I really like it. And then we're going to compare it to the Inkless Peptide Moisturizer. I actually got this one on the Sephora sale last November, so a couple, about a month ago. Um, and I have been using it uh, almost every night. So we're going to see uh, how it stacks up against the Proteiny uh, one. So. Let's start with why do I think they're dupes or why do I think they're potential dupes? Um, I think there was a very deliberate effort on the part of the ink list to make us think, think that these two are dupes. Um, the first is the fact that they both have the uh, word peptide on the name of the product. Um, but the other reason I'm thinking for me, the main reason is the packaging of the product. They chose a packaging, um, and this is what it looks like inside, that is the same as the Drunk Elephant one. Um, and the reason I think that that was a deliberate choice is because no, no other product from the Inculus has this type of packaging, even though they could. Um, so for that reason, I think that this was a choice that they made to make it as similar as the peptide moisturizer from Drunk Elephant as they could. Um, which I don't fault them for, but it's just something that I have noticed. So let's talk about price first. Um, obviously the Inky List is a lot cheaper. So the Drunk Elephant one here in Canada retails for $89. Um, I tend to just buy it on the Zephyr sale because like that's a lot of money. So the uh, $89 for the Proteiny, it has 50 mil. This one is around $19, it's also 50 mil, so it's about 20% of the cost of this one. So definitely when it comes to price, you know, the ink list will always win because just like a much better price for the same amount of product. Um, next up, let's talk about packaging. Uh, when it comes to packaging, as I mentioned before, I'm just gonna open them with both. Um, the, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, they look almost identical. I do have to say that the Drunk Elephant one feels more expensive. The plastic feels nicer. The um, plastic feels heavier. Um, and yeah, it feels more expensive because newsflash, it is. But it's just something that I have noticed that, you know, like this one feels a bit nicer. The other difference I have between the two is that if I were to just open the Inculus one, I actually can see the product and I get to the product. I can't do that as easily on the Drunk Elephant one. I'm not gonna open that one just cause it's brand new, but I'm gonna show you on a different Drunk Elephant product what usually happens, which is there's like an inner chamber um, where you can where the product is, but you can't really access the product, which can be a little bit annoying, uh, especially this one is a little bit better cause you can see this, but on the moisturizer, sometimes it's hard to know how much moisturizer you have left. Um, but it does seem to have a more complex um, packaging, uh, which again, like, makes sense because like it's a lot more expensive. Next up is how you use it, uh, and for that I have to say, you know, you just put them on. One thing I really rubs me the wrong way about um, Drunk Elephant is that they won't commit to a way to use it, so they'll always have like a suggestion to use, as opposed to like instructions on how to use it. Uh, but you just put it on. Uh, the thing about Drunk Elephant is that they say that you can just mix all the products if you want and that's totally fine with them and you can just put everything together. Um, for the ink list, they, uh, they're very, very direct, like how to use and then you just have to, how to, you know, how to put it on. I like that they tell you to put it after your serums so it's really clear on how you use it. Um, and they have this huge message or this big message. I don't think if I put, go next to it, you'll be able to, no, I can't, you can't, you can't see it, but, um, it has like this sign that says, uh, or recommends you use hyaluronic acid first. Um, so in that sense, I really like that this one will actually give you that option or not the option, but it actually gives you clear instructions on how to use it. Whereas like, I feel like Drunk Elephant just won't commit. Um, and, and I kind of have to wonder why is that, but anyway. 
let's keep on with <laughs> let's keep going um in terms of the feel i think i don't know if i like this one better the drunk california one just because i have used it more often or that i've used it for longer um so it just feels nicer and then when i started using this one it was a bit of a change because it's not the exact same consistency um i do feel that this one uh, sort of runs on the smooth on the skin a lot smoother than this one um and i felt that i needed to use some more product with this one than with this one um to kind of like make it go to my face it also my skin my skin didn't feel as moisturized after using this one on its own it did get a lot better when i put on the um hyaluronic acid first uh so that made it a lot better it's just that I don't need to do that with this one this one like it just just goes on and it feels really nice this one it didn't feel as nice um but it is a lot better now that i'm using the um hyaluronic acid first and then i'm putting on the moisturizer so not terrible uh, and i think again even even if i buy the hyaluronic acid which i would usually get like some, through either the inkless or the ordinary um i'm still like <laughs> A lot of dollars behind this one um, so it's not terrible if you do feel like you do have to add that other piece um, to make it feel a bit more moisturizing um, so yeah that's for this one in terms of ingredients this is where like it gets interesting and I think like that price difference will really kind of like show itself not that you cannot have really good ingredients for a, a lesser price uh, and I think with things like the ink list and the ordinary and a few other brands we we are seeing that that is possible um but to um look at the ingredients and look at the effectiveness I went to what's in my jar I want to say dot com but it could be dot org anyway I'll put a screenshot um so I went to what's in my jar which is a website that evaluates ingredients and the claims ingredients in a product and the claims they um they make to see if those match up um I find that what's in my jar works great for moisturizers not for all products but for moisturizers so far I have found that it's pretty good um and I I know maybe you guys want me to do another video on like those kinds of websites and whether like they're good or not so if you do just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do a video on that um but for this I actually went and looked them up um so we're gonna start with the ink list first so with the ink list it um had a an effectiveness rating of 45 and it's on a scale of 100 um so not great um when you look in detail you go you see that um it's not too much for the moisturizing part but for the anti-aging that like the rating goes that low or it's not as high so the way what's in my jar works is that they look at the ingredients in a product and they look at the claims the product makes um and they evaluate whether those ingredients will, will actually do what the product is set to do and then they also evaluate if the concentration of that product will be effective so it's okay because you can have peptides but then like if you don't have enough peptides then it's like not having peptides um so in the case of the ink list for example what they found was that uh, it was actually pretty good for the moisturizing part most of the products worked really well the concentrations were good uh, when it came to the peptides they only had one peptide and um there just wasn't enough of that peptide in there to kind of make a difference um and that makes sense because when you look at the ingredients list you will see that the peptide is the last ingredient and as you know um ingredients are listed in descending order of how much of that product is in the actual product or how much of that ingredient is in the actual product so for this one for example the peptide was at the bottom but it was actually a good moisturizer it's just that the anti-aging part is not that great it was one thing that was good is that it had a very low um agency uh rating so it was a low it had low iridency rating and that means that there's just not a lot of irritants in the product which is nice especially if you if you have um really sensitive skin and then uh for the um drunk half on one the proteiny um it had i want to say 90 um i my notes are like kind of a bit far away from me so i can't really read it but it had a 90 over 100 so a really good 
reading really good moisturizing options and also like th this is where like the peptide the peptides shine right so it has like a lot of peptides and many of them like in really good concentrations so it has a much higher rating um because of that it is a bit more irritant than the uh drunk health, sorry than the inky list one so that was a surprise to me that it wasn't as um gentle as um i thought it would be especially because drunk elephant is one that you know they uh they claim to be like very natural very clean beauty they're actually i think they're both clean beauty if i'm not mistaken but they're both unscented that's for sure that's for sure um so you know they're like oh we don't use alcohols and we don't use fragrances and things like that so i was kind of surprised that they have a few more things that could irritate skin um i've never had a problem with this one and i do have sensitive skin but you know uh your mileage or you know i'm in canada so like your kilometrage uh may vary so just keep that in mind that that could be different for your skin um another thing that i noticed about the two is that they have a difference in how long the, the product lasts so this one lasts six months after opening and then this one lasts 12 months after opening it's not the end of the world i find that i usually go through one of this every like three months um so it's not terrible like it's totally fine um i don't think i would ever get to a point where this would go bad on me but if you for some reason rotate moisturizers and you don't think you would go through something like this in six months then that's something to take into account um that being said with the price it is it you, you can buy so many of this ones by you know you can buy five of this with the amount that you can one of you pay for one of this so you know if you had to replace them more often i don't think that would be a huge difference um but just something to to take into account if you are someone who um changes moisturizers or rotates moisturizers is that this one lasts about half the time as the other one um there's just something to take into account um and then yeah so that is like the all the different aspects that i noticed i think that if i had to choose between the two of them i personally think i'd probably be going back to um drunk elephant i just like it better i'm gonna finish this one out because it's not bad but i just feel like at my age with my skin this is what i need right now um unless i find something else that's really good one thing i do want to mention is that while this product is not the best from the inky list they do have other peptide products that are good um so the one that had the best rating uh was the the collagen peptide serum so that one actually had a 70 over 100 rating in terms of efficacy uh, or effectiveness um so you know maybe this is not the best type of product for what this specific from this specific need from the inculus but there are other peptide products that actually are, are a lot better so just keep that in mind and you know it's not about writing an entire brand off it's just that this one is not that great um for that specific uh need um so yeah so i think for me personally uh even though my wallet will hate it i'm gonna have to stick with the protein -y. i just find it a lot more moisturizing for me and i find that i'm at an age and i'm at a moment where i do need to put a little more effort into the anti-aging part but if you're just looking for a good moisturizer and you're looking for like maybe a little bit of peptide this might be a good thing for you it's just that for me personally it didn't work one thing i will say is because it did like the because it has that message about the hyaluronic acid i've been better about using it which i don't always do and i kind of forget it's just like an extra step in my skincare routine that i'm like oh god so um this one has made me do it more often which i think is actually good and i'm hoping that i'll be able to kind of translate that to once i go back to the uh to the protein the peptide cream so this has been my comparison of these two semi dupes potential dupes supposed dupes i hope you have enjoyed it if you have any comments or any other products that you would like me to compare please leave them in the description below thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in another video bye